welcome back. And we are getting ready to move into our final segment for today where we get to sit down and have an extended conversation with beauty ambassador, model, and uh, social media entrepreneur as well, Georgia. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Good morning. So you good know, to be here. You know you're uh, becoming a well-known person when you go by just one name, right? Georgia. 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 That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are so happy to have you here. And first of all, we want to say congratulations on landing the cover of the Love, Love Magazine. Magazine. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I know you've spoken about how the Belizean support was integral to you being able to get to this. So let's step back okay. to uh georgia growing up in the southern belize mm -hmm. who took to instagram and completely blossomed into a social media star mm -hmm. how did that get started um well one time it comes to the um modeling i started back in 2013 that's mm -hmm. five years ago mm -hmm. i did my first photo shoot with danny hon mm -hmm. he is from pg yeah. And um, I continued from there and I started working with Marlene's closet, love uh -huh. Miss Delia, so she's helped me a lot as well. And from there I branched out into like different um, photographers, but, and I started doing the fashion shows mm -hmm. with Joris and Rebecca Sturm. And then it came to a point where I feel like everything just went on like a standstill. The photographers weren't photographing mm -hmm. as much as they used to. And for me, modeling has always been a passion of mine. Yeah. So I started taking pictures from like my phone to just keep up with everything, be consistent. And then my boyfriend, Brandon, he gifted me with like our first camera and he became my photographer like overnight. <laughs> so for the past two years, he's been taking like the majority of my pictures. And that's what's been keeping me, I guess, relevant and what's brought me so far then being yeah. recognized now five years later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finally, I'm getting recognized. So yeah. it's all you just have to be consistent and don't give up. You now, Georgia, as a young girl growing up, you grew up in Hopkins? Yes. Okay. As a young girl growing up in Hopkins with modeling aspirations, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of people in Belize see the limitations before they see the possibilities. Yeah. What kept you going uh, despite coming from a small community and having such a unique look? Okay. Um, I feel like in back in the day, I always knew that I wanted to be a model it was just something I wanted to do mm -hmm. but based on society and everything that I was going through at the time like I got bullied a lot because I was different from everybody else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was the mixed kid I have the freckles and the big curly hair and it kind of like put me down and I remember this one time in high school my first form and the teacher went around the class and asked, asked everyone what they wanted to be and I said a model in my class and it's laughed at me mm -hmm. so like it kind of put me down but ever since I was a young age and I'm still not sure if it's just modeling but I had like this intuition telling me that I was born to make a difference mm -hmm. and like I just need to push forward then and I'm, fi I'm finding out that I'm finally learning what that is and maybe it's to inspire people maybe it's to make Belize proud We'll see. <laughs> Georgia, from year one to year five, uh, you're five years in, and all of a sudden, bam! And every, you, you know, you, you hit Belize by storm, and you're out there. You're you're internationally recognized now. How how is this working for you? For the for the mere fact that there are many models who have been doing their work for years, not only five years, and then eventually hitting the big scene. After five years, you've done it. What's the mindset like? What did you think? when you got out there? What did I think when I got out there? I said to myself, you know what? Like when I went outside of Belize, I said to myself, you know what, Georgia, this is it. You need to represent your people. You need to represent everybody, everybody that's been so supportive for you and just give it your all, put your best foot forward. And that's what I do with every single thing that I do. And of course, I said a nice prayer and I went there. I gave it my all and the results turned out well in my favor yeah. so it's all about being positive and like thinking about everybody else too yeah. because it's not just only me yeah yeah now you saw the progression of uh your followers on instagram you're over a hundred thousand people right mm -hmm. yeah um and it was actually part of the tool that you had to be able to get this opportunity yes. what 
when you see so many people attracted to uh, the words, the thoughts, the images that you're putting out on Instagram, how does it make you feel? And how do you, uh, is it a, a bit of a pressure in terms of trying to keep them engaged and keep them following? I don't feel like it's, it becomes like, I don't feel pressured okay. because it's something that I really like to do. Like I look forward to taking my pictures. I look forward to posting them. Uh -huh. um, I'm look, I look forward to making somebody else smile, to inspire people. It's just something that's within me. So it never comes across as being pressured. Okay. Just don't, no. are, you, are you living your dream now or are you still not where you actually want to be? I don't think about where I want to be. I feel like God has a plan for all of us. So as the time goes by, I will progress. I feel like I'm on the right path to being very, very successful. So as the time goes by, I'm going to find out what that is. Yeah, yeah I don't no. think about it. No, no. it just happens. It, it's fascinating. You know, when people check out uh, the things you're saying online, the things that uh, the messages that you try to put out to young girls, especially, it's about acceptance. You know, yes. you talk about the struggle that you face having freckles. You completely embrace showcasing them. And now people are tattooing freckles on their face. It's kids. crazy. Yes. Oh Imagine my that. Uh, your curls, which are gorgeous, by Thank the way, you, you help people. <laughs> to be able to uh, use the right products and take that self-care and really embrace the natural look. Um, when you meet little girls or other young women who come to you and you realize that you have made a very important impact on their lives, what's that experience like for you? It's always like a bit surreal. Like mm -hmm. last week, um, we did our event, the cover release party. Yeah. And of course, we sat down and I, we think, and I was like, the, um, the youth is a large part of my support system. So yeah. mm -hmm. what could we do for them? And just last minute, we decided to do like a meet and greet. Okay. And we did it at Sit and Zip. And we had like almost 50 young people who came out and it was so, so sweet. Like I got to talk to each one of them for like five minutes, got to learn a lot more about themselves. And some of them had words that they were just ready to tell me. Some of them were shy, but of course I helped them bring that shyness out and we communicated a lot. And like, it feels so real, like, um, who would have thought so many people would have known my name? Who would have thought that Georgia would have been the inspiration yeah. for me? So many youths within yeah. Belize. So it's kind of surreal, but I'm happy to be that person for them. Uh -huh. And the person that could, they could talk to, could look up to, realize that anything is possible. Like Belize is not the limit. The sky is your limit. You could do anything. Now, what do you think? Uh, is it your family, the values, the way you were brought up? that allows you to be such a focused and positive young woman? Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Like I grew up with very um, strong, supportive parents. Whenever I felt like giving up, like my parents were always there to tell me, you know, you're beautiful, you're gonna do great things, don't give up and all this. And I really, really thank them for that. And over time, everything just progress but they were definitely like the foundation of everything about me and ensuring that I didn't go on the right the wrong path yeah. and getting involved with like the wrong people or stuff like that mm -hmm. so for the young ladies who have uh, who probably had the same and uh, not the same mentality as you but there are a lot of folks and I keep on stressing this who think that you know what this is not going to work for them let's get back to when you went uh, when you were out there with the Jenner and you know what was that like for you and uh, uh, what did they say to you to uplift you? Okay. Um, Miss Katie Grant from the magazine, she mentioned to me that she loved my persistence because before going out there, I had to get my visa. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a kind of hard journey because I had like four days before I could have got my visa. Wow. But I pushed. I made the right connection and I gave it my all because we had already come this far. I had to go out there and represent my people. It was yeah. just something that I had to do. And like she really admired that and she told me that I'm going to go places, I'm going to go far because of that, just that little thing, not giving up, like going the extra mile. And I feel that that's very important for young people to, do, to know that no matter what, we're not supposed to give up because there'll be a lot of hurdles and throughout getting my visa, there were a lot of hurdles. And um, 
Miss Indira Craig, she was there with me and she helped let me like really see it because I, I've always heard people saying that you're not supposed to give up. Mm -hmm. And she showed me why. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, it's like if we give up, there'll be, we don't want to have any regrets. You don't want to yeah. be like, what yeah. if? How if I'm a do this or anything like that? So you make sure you go to the end of it and you'll be proud of yourself even though you, even if you don't make it. And it yeah. worked out for you because yeah, you got out. your visa, you got exactly. the opportunity to travel exactly. to Los Angeles and you had your photograph taken. Not only did you get your photograph taken by right. Kendall and Jenner, but you landed the cover. Yes. What does it feel like? <laughs> it's the, everything is just, is just surreal. Mm -hmm. Like I found out in December that I got the cover. Mm -hmm. I think it was December 8th that I found out. At the time we were in LA mm -hmm. and <laughs> My boyfriend's the one who actually saw it because Miss Katie, she messaged me, was like 2 o'clock in the night and he woke me up and he's like, Joy Joy, I'll make the cover. And I felt as if though I was in a dream. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm like, what? And then he's like, you get the cover. She said, Miss Katie just messaged you. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I couldn't believe it. And then he's like, look. And I looked at it and I was like, oh my God. And I just started crying because it was so like, unreal but she mentioned to me that I couldn't have told told anybody mm -hmm. and that made it so much harder because like we were over that side and we have a lot of friends there and I remember one night we went out bowling and I was in the car with them and I was like looking out the window and I was crying because I want to tell them but I can't <laughs> and I'm like I just want to say it to them I just want everybody to know and even you. online I just yeah. want them to know that I made it you know and it wasn't until a month passed that I could have told everybody I you know listening to it and watching it let me, let, me, let me see it. <laughs> People might say, you know, it's just in the front of a book. How big of a deal it is to be on the, the front cover? This magazine is one of the most important magazines in the world. Like, um, it's not just like advertisements and what's not. It's a lot that has to do with the industry. It's very creative and a lot of amazing people, like the biggest people in the industry, are in this book. And Georgia is on the cover, the cover. on this book. Yes. So, that it's a big deal. It is a big deal. Have of you, course, it is. Have you have you met your your modeling that, that, that your modeling idol? Have you met that individual? That's Kendall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like. Kendall what was it like lot. when you when you finally met her? It was really, really nice. She was like very natural. Mm -hmm. um, she's a very, very beautiful long year, by the way. Like a lot of us, we see the celebrities and they look completely different in yeah. person. Well, no, she, she looks like Kendall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, she was really nice while photographing our pictures. Like she gave a lot of compliments and what's not. And she was just easy to talk to, which I really appreciated. And wow. I'll always keep that. Did you have to mentally tell yourself don't act starstruck, don't act starstruck. <laughs> I had no time to act starstruck, Marlene. <laughs> like, when I got there, everything was just so, so last minute yeah. with the visa and everything. So when I got to LA, I came off at the airport. They had a driver for me from the airport. They took me on to set, which was like an hour and a half away. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And when I got to the set, it was straight to hair and makeup and then outside shooting with yeah. Kendall. So I was the last person that she shot. Yeah. And the sun was like going down. So there was no room for like slacking up on time. You couldn't even process time. what was happening. Yeah, it just, everything just happened. It wasn't until I went back to the hotel, I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> so yeah. how difficult it is to, uh, to, to be up uh, in the front and uh, how many people were there at the time when you guys were doing, uh, uh, taking shots, you know, how difficult is it? Um, a lot of people were there actually. We had about 10 people and most of them, like they, they say these people are like the gods in the industry. Really? That's what people say. Like Miss Katie Grant, she's the person who like brought out Kendall. She gave Kendall her first opportunity to work on the Mark Jacobs show mm -hmm. and all of that. So she's done a lot of things. And then they have, they had like the biggest hairstylist there mm -hmm. and what's not. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I never felt pressured. It was, modeling is what I love to do. So I just went out there and 
be myself and yeah. it just came across naturally. And who styled you for the shoot? Um, who styled? The clothes is from Mark Jacobs uh -huh. and Miss Katie was the one that um, styled it. And then the hair is from this guy named Ashley. Yeah. He, he is amazing at yeah. hair and like putting things together. Yeah. So yeah, that's the look that we went for. Yeah. And um, originally... It isn't your usual curls. That's yes, what I that's what I was to gonna, yeah. gonna say, yeah. yeah. Um, How do you feel when you first start? Because I mean, your, your, your curls are your trademark. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Ashley directed, like they had two girls there who are supposed to do here. So he directed them and tol told them that he wanted a much bigger fro. And the girl was like, oh, Georgia, I don't want to comb out your beautiful curls. And she went from the roots and lift up the roots, made my hair like a lot bigger. And then he came in and he's like, no, we want it bigger, brush it. And <laughs> we had like four people around me with brushes just brushing out my hair. So I was like, they're the, they're the big people in yeah. the industry and they know what they want so I'm just gonna go with it yeah. and I went out there and I guess it's that dramatic look that absolutely. they wanted yeah. and I believe that it came across well. Absolutely. Wow. They like it. <laughs> and you still showcased your uh, f freckles as well. Yes, yeah. which that's a big deal for me. Even back in the day doing like the different fashion shows here in Belize, I always ask the makeup artists, please don't cover my freckles. Uh -huh. I always ask them that. So when I was over there and no foundation or anything, I was happy. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when is the next big shoot for Georgia? When is the next big shoot for Georgia? I cannot say it, John, <laughs> but I need you. I want everybody to know that we have a lot in store for 2017 okay. and I'm all for surprises that makes my journey even more exciting so if you want to find out make sure you're following me on Instagram uh -huh. and everything will come out <laughs> so obviously the cover and the shoot has opened doors for mm -hmm. you in the industry mm -hmm. um, looking at the journey and really you're just at the start you know this is okay. all your hard work putting you on the path that you always wanted to be on a lot of times people undertake to follow dreams and get obstacles along the way and find it very difficult to proceed. What would you say to other girls? There are lots of young ladies yes, in Belize who want to be models. There are lots of people who want to do non-traditional type professions in this country. What do you say to them about pushing ahead until you break through? Okay, I want to tell them that bottom line, you need to really believe in yourself and give it your all. Mm -hmm. Like I was mentioning before, don't give up. There will be hurdles, but you just push forward. And at the same time, modeling isn't something that really get paid here, paid here in Belize. So for me, modeling became like my hobby. It was mm -hmm. something that I liked to do. But apart from that, I was doing different things. I was going to school because what if, what mm -hmm. if it doesn't work yeah. out? So I was going to school, I was working in Key Cocker, like I was venturing, venturing on different paths. Yeah. So there's be wide, you won't know unless you try something. Yeah. So, and just don't give up on your dreams. You want that bachelor's degree, you could get it. You want to be a lawyer, believe me, you could get it. You could do anything as long as you set your mind to it and you follow that path. Okay. All right. Well, we're so glad that you stopped in this morning. I do believe we have one final thing that we want to tie you down to, and it is because it's Fun Friday, so we have a special game lined up, right? Yes. <laughs> so you didn't know you were coming here to do trivia, but... I did not. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part of life you chose. There are a lot of things you didn't know. Now you, you did. You love surprises. So uh -huh. this is, uh, I believe it's Guess That Character, right? Is that what we're looking at, producer? All right, great. So we're going to put some images up on the screen, and this is really to find out what your childhood was like. Oh and you have no. to guess who these characters are. Oh uh, there's no winner or loser. We're just having fun. <laughs> and if we need to help you, we will. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, yes. after you make your first attempt, except I have the cheat sheet, so. Yeah. <laughs> who, who are these guys? Did you watch a lot of cartoons as a no, kid? I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I watch, I watch um, Tom and Jerry. Tweety Bird. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Those were my favorites. All right, so we get, we oh. could get the the, the the able boyfriend to help you if you okay, like. Okay, baby, what's that? <laughs> Alvin, Alvin and, and the Chipmunks. <laughs> All right, uh -huh. next one. Oh. The they're the Rugrats. The Simpsons. <laughs> 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 All right, you got that one. The other one. Um, 
This is Daffy Duck. Uh huh. Yes. And. And Bugs Bunny. You yeah. Keep, you serious? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one I'm sure you're going to get. Let's see that one. You're sure, John? Yes, I'm sure you're going to get this one. Okay, hmm. these were these were the the Titan Turtles. Who, and who Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Yes, yes, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles. Ninja Turtles. All right, next one. Oh no, I don't remember them. You need to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should. <laughs> all right, we'll take two more we'll take and two see more. what we can do. All Ooh, right, this next one is up. going to be hard. It will. Yeah. You don't know. No him? clue. That is. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> and finally. Okay, I know them. The, the, the Flintstones. Okay, <laughs> yes. Good job. Excellent. We've got them right All here. Right. So we just try to keep things uh, a little fun on our fun Friday. So we appreciate you being a good sport and participating. Thank yes. And thank you to the boyfriend as well for providing me <laughs> off uh, camera support. Uh, you know, Georgia, we are all very proud of you. We wanted to get the opportunity to speak with you personally and just uh, hear a little bit about your story. Because a lot of times people see the success, but they never know what it takes yeah. to get there. Um, and so when we can be able to share with other people or journeys, then uh, we can inspire more along the way. So we appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. you. Best of luck. We know there's only bigger things to come. That's Thank right. You. I appreciate uh -huh. that. And there is one last thing that I would like to tell to the young people. I want them to know that the little flaws that we dwell on in the mirror every single day are the things that makes you a masterpiece. Yeah. Believe that. And I feel like the key to happiness and confidence is to appreciate the things that we have instead of being upset for the things that we don't. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind that has taken me a long way, so I'd like them to know that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you. So proud of you. Thank you for being here. Thank Remember, you so much for if they me. want, if people want to follow your journey, you're on Instagram. Uh -huh. Yes, Instagram is uh -huh. my main platform. Okay, okay. so yeah. find her on Instagram. You're yes. also on Facebook as well, yes, right? Yes, I'm on Facebook, Georgia yeah. Estrada. Okay, right. do check her out. We appreciate you being here. We got to go ahead and take that final break. When we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.